What is happening, everybody? John Wilson with SeattleSportsCards.com coming at you with your August uh, PSA reveal on this Labor Day weekend. Quick reveal of about five cards sent to PSA. Uh, some Simone Biles for the Olympics and uh, a surprise at the end here. Flip this around and get going. So I wanted to send out some Simone Biles cards uh, during the Olympics. Um, I had the whole rainbow of her 2016 Tops cards. Funny story, I actually, my daughter was a level four gymnast at about nine years old, so I bought her whole team these cards. Um, I had about 30 of them that I probably spent about $60 on. But uh, I'll jump right into it. Here's the base. So I sent these express just to get them back before the Olympics were over. Um, and I got three of them back in time, but she kind of backed out. But, you know, she's still the greatest of all time. So all three of these came back. Uh, Jim Mint tents. So here's the base right here. Simone Biles, 2016 U.S. Olympic Paralympic. Jim Mint 10 rookie card. Um, you know, funny story, back then we were actually trying to get the Gabby Douglas cards and I could not get the gold. I got all the Ali Raismans and uh, all the Simone Biles, but we never got the Gabby Douglas gold for my daughter. But, you know, the Simone Biles ended up being worth the money. Next card, 2016 bronze. Again, Jim Mint 10. Very happy, thank God, because I was paying PSA Express $200 a card. And then you guessed it, the silver. Jim Mint 10. So those were the three I did on Express. I had a voucher, I had one single voucher left over and I sent the gold, which is why I couldn't sell these before the Olympics were over. And the gold actually came back at eight, so I must have bought it separate from the other ones. But I'm gonna let all these go. Still a beautiful card of the greatest of all time. I think, uh, especially if she comes back for another Olympics. These are going to hold a lot of value. Uh, then the last card I sent in for Express, and I got a happy email from PSA where they said they had to upcharge me. I, uh, I got a call from a guy that had a memorabilia collection, and he had only a few cards, and one of them was a 1948 Jackie Robinson. Um... And I wasn't convinced it was legit or not because he didn't have any other cards from this era. Um, but my, I do know a little bit about these cards. And so I, the fact that this was in such bad condition actually gave me confidence that it was real because back in these days, you know, there are multiple pieces of cardboard and you can tell right there on these corners. See how bad it is on back. Um, so I just took a chance on it. And this is probably the best case scenario is that it came back a one. You know, I did know somebody that had some other 1948 cards as well. So I asked them if I could uh, compare this to those after I bought it. And by the, by the end of the night after I bought this, I was pretty convinced it was legit. So I'm just super happy with this. To me, this is like, I'm like a huge baseball fan. So this is like the Mona Lisa of cards to me. So I'm super happy with this. Um, you know, I know a lot of people love the 86 Fleer Jordan, and the 2003 LeBron, which I love as well. But, you know, for me, this is it. So I was just super ecstatic. Uh, the reason I went live on this Instagram today as well, instead of just doing a YouTube video, is I kind of wanted to show everybody I'm uh, in my rental property right now, which, uh, 
I'll turn it around here. I had sold all my cards last, uh, like October. And I never thought I could actually sell all my cards, but it was a good feeling because I was able to buy an investment property with the uh, saving up 20% from doing that. And, uh, you know, I just wanted to give some motivation to people out there that, you know, I, I never sell, sell cards. I always um, sell the scale. And to me, I feel like real estate's the best investment. And so I just kind of wanted to give everybody a quick tour since I have my rental property all cleaned out right now. You know? I'm sure all of you who have been collecting cards for a long time have people say, oh, you're gonna build a house with all those cards? Well, in 2021, in a pandemic, you can. Just a little motivation for everybody. Because now I can take the profit off this rental property, put it right back in the cart, and do it again, right? Alright everybody, thanks for watching.